Hi everyone. I wanted to thank NSTV for providing me with the opportunity to reach as many homes as possible with vital information concerning your health and well-being. We are faced with a health crisis that is unprecedented but can be managed only with your help and cooperation. I implore you to listen and take heed. On March 12, as a result of an escalating COVID-19 pandemic, I declared a local state of emergency in an incorporated village of Great Neck, which gave me the latitude to effectuate two executive orders in the interest of public safety. The first executive order issued on March 13, which was renewed today, restrict public gathering in public assembly, including house of worship, gyms, and restaurants. The second executive order issued on March 16th prohibited restaurants from allowing seating and only permit takeout and delivery service. Failure to comply with this order is punishable by law. Unfortunately, there are still those in the community who have ignored and dismissed these directives and have held communal gathering in their homes or outside. With schools shut and with the elderly at higher risk, I have strongly recommended not to bring children to their grandparents and to their grandparents' homes. Doing so is putting these individuals, people above 60 or 65, at grave risk. Please exercise caution. Stay home. Go out for a walk with immediate family. Open your windows and go to your backyards. Stay safe. And together we will see this through. I have a message for our children. I know many of you don't like to be home every day. It must be difficult for many of you to stay home and not go out and see your friends and your teachers. We understand that. I know you miss your grandparents dearly and you want to see them and hug them. I want to tell you that if you love your grandparents, stay home. Don't go to their houses. Don't hug them and don't kiss them. Send them as many love messages as you want. Call them as often as you want. And send them Facebook messages, WhatsApp messages, and FaceTime them as often as you wish. But remember, at these times, we all have to stay home. There are many doctors and nurses that are working tirelessly to make sure that everyone that gets sick gets better and go home. But what you can do to help is to make sure that you don't spread the germs. Wash your hands, listen to your parents, do your homework, help them with the cleaning if you have to, and play nicely with each other. These difficult times, many parents are home because they have to stay home as their bosses have ordered them to stay home and work from home. It's very difficult to do that if you're not listening. So I'm asking you, be good kids, and I know you all are good kids. Listen to your parents, and I promise you that this thing will be over soon. Tomorrow is the Persian New Year, no ruse. And I wanted to use this opportunity to ask and tell all the Persians and the Iranians and wish them a happy New Year. Unfortunately, we are in difficult times and we cannot celebrate the way we wanted to. And I again implore you not to bring in your families for these gatherings. And I'm sure if we heed to the advice of the politician, the doctors, and the World Health Organization, we can see through this quickly. And I'm hoping for a day that we can all go out, shake each other's hands, give each other's hugs, and dance in the street. But that's only possible if we really listen and live by the guidelines. I wanted to thank you. Happy New Year. And together, we will beat this virus.